I've been following this company because it's the perfect example of how the U.S. Inflation Reduction Act is impacting yes. corporate decisions. Yes. So for a while, they were debating where they were going to open their next factory. Were they going ahead with an initial idea of doing it in Germany? Or because of the U.S. Free Inflation Reduction Act, should they go ahead and actually open a plant in North America first? Now, what happened in the end is that they are going ahead with both. They have announced that they are indeed opening a factory in Germany. They want to have that ready by 2026, but they are also going ahead with uh, essentially ahead of, of the plan and opening this second factory in uh, uh, Canada. Now, it's important to keep in mind, though, that uh, there was an announcement from the German government that they were also supporting the North Fault. They're also providing some subsidies for North Fault to also go ahead with their German plan. This is actually under revision now by the European Commission to, to, this, to say whether or not this is actually legal legal um, subsidies. And so I asked the uh, uh, one of the co-founders of Northvolt whether they're actually, they felt that Germany was now willing to support them given the pressure perhaps coming from the US Inflation Reduction Act. Let's take a look. This is, as you know, a, a pretty well-regulated and scrutinized process. So it is following its uh, it's a uh, uh, route and uh, we will uh, uh, update uh, whenever we have uh, some uh, uh, concrete news to announce. Can I just double check when it comes to that, to that uh, you managed to perhaps convince the German government to support you a little bit more given the announcement of the IRA? Uh, I don't know honestly how much uh, the IRA uh, has placed, uh, played in, into this. Uh, as I mentioned earlier on, there is a, a, a growing awareness that this, uh, the, the energy transition and the, the, the shift to a decarbonized society uh, needs to happen much faster than what organically companies can afford in this type of investment. It is incredibly capital intensive uh, and technologically complex to build battery factories. And, and uh, governments and states are ste stepping in more and more uh, to actually make sure that this happens and happens fast. So Northvolt, as we mentioned earlier, is a, a battery maker. Their batteries are used in electric cars, and it's one of the most important companies at this stage when you look at the green transition and how important some businesses are in Europe in order to achieve that. Now, when I was in Sweden earlier this year, I asked the, the CEO, what are the plans for a potential IPO? At the time, he mentioned that they were thinking of a potential dual listing, one in uh, Sweden and one perhaps in the United States. Uh, having said that, I had a chance now to ask uh, Paolo Cerucci, one of the co-founders as well, if there's any sort of update on their timeline to IPO. It would be premature to give any calendar on the IPO. I think uh, there are two factors really that determine when we're going to go public. One is the market. The market has been very shaky. It seems to, to be getting better. Uh, but we, we're monitoring that very carefully and also our own overall readiness. Uh, in, 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 we want to do this well. We don't want to do a SPAC or, or a rush into an IPO. We're well-funded. We have, I think, the best uh, uh, supportive investor that we could have dreamed of. And uh, we, we will go public when we're ready to go public.